so this is the one ui6 beta running on the samsung galaxy f23 so let's explore it and then also learn how to install it on your smartphone so going to the software updates i'm on the latest one ui6 and uh, you can see the security patch level so let's go to the about phone and check out the software information and here you can see it's one ui6 and the android version is 14 and also we have the latest nox version and we multi tap on the android 14 we have the new android 14 uh, logo and the uh, easter egg now one of the most noticeable changes is to the quick toggles as you can see here we have a very redesigned quick toggles with the big wi-fi and bluetooth icon and when you one tap a uh, single tab will open up and expand the menu and the same goes for the wi-fi so that is good and also changes color according to the wallpaper we can change the brightness if you want the brightest controller to be always visible or the dual sim information or we can add or remove the quick toggle icons so this is a good change we also have the one click for dark mode and the uh, the night light so this is good and it looks much better than the previous and it feels really smooth as well now going to the settings uh, the settings is kind of new the design feels a little little more uh, defined and uh, there are not a lot of more options but we will explore it anyway so for the connections in the Wi-Fi, these are the options. And the same we go for the, uh, the sounds and vibration. You can see all your uh, ringtones for the sim. Uh, you can check out the summary right on the screen. Uh, most of the options are similar to the One UI 5.1. So let us go to the sound quality and effects. So all of these options related to Dolby and Equalizer only works if you have the headphone connected and also the USB upscaler. It upscales your 8-bit uh, or 16-bit audio to 24-bit and it does uh, using the chipset so it works quite well as well and you can try it out with your headphones so you need to have high quality headphones to actually listen to and compare the sound so this is good to have so everything else is similar uh, in the battery I have to say that the battery backup has uh, taken a hit so it's not get giving the Atmos battery as it I was getting on the One UI 5. So it may improve with the more upcoming updates. And we also have a lot of themes as well and it is updated always like for now it is for the Halloween and festive. And the lock screen we have the uh, the widgets and the lock screen wallpaper and the clock style we can also access it directly from the lock screen or from here and i've noticed some new fonts for the lock screen the layout and designs are similar also the colors it would be cool if we get the options where the clock goes behind the subject of the wallpaper that we have in the ios but uh, hopefully in future updates samsung may implement it and the widgets also are cool but uh, i don't think many use it so how you access it is you lock the screen then on a single tap on the clock you can access all the widgets and it is helpful if you use it but uh, i don't think many do that now going to the security we have the vis uh, the usual options and uh, we also have something called the auto blocker so you cannot sideload any applications using usb or from any unknown application so this is good if you want to be safe from any kind of malicious applications or you do not want to install any third party applications this is good for that and we also have the options to encrypt our sd card and other options samsung pass is also available so the usual options and also if you do not want to share your diagnostic data with samsung make sure you disable these options it might get enabled after you update your device so make sure you check that and we also have the health connect so basically if you have a multiple devices or smart watches it kind of uh, combines all the health data from google fit and other into a single application so you can see which permissions those applications have enabled and uh, you can manage it with one app this is good and the private share now this app is going to be merged with the samsung's uh, quick share so you do not have to access it separately so we may see it in the future updates now in the advanced option for the labs we have options for the side button 
and multi window so multi window is actually really good on samsung devices and it really comes handy if you are using a samsung tablet but here too if you are using uh, uh, media applications like youtube you can just slide down from the top and use that that app in the floating mode and it comes really in handy and looks good and the same goes for the split screen as well as uh, but i do not use it as much and we also have the gaming hub which i will show you when i get into the gaming part now we also have the dual messenger which comes by default on samsung that is good so the device care app will show all your battery stats and your storage ram usage and it's good to uh, take a look at what how your phone is doing on a regular basis so we see no new options for the language and general management now going to the accessibility new settings are always getting added and uh, if you are uh, someone who needs this so these options are really good for that although you can use these options like remove animations or the dark mode to make your phone a little bit feel faster now you can check out the multitasking and it's really good i've been using it for a couple of days and it's performing really good uh, the widget animations as have many mentioned is not working like uh, we have for the android 13 and 14 so i hope it will be fixed in the update so the new camera layout and design looks quite good we can easily switch between the 50 megapixel and 12 megapixel on our f23 we can also switch between the lenses and there's uh, no lag a little bit delay but no lag we also have a lot of filters we also notice that some of these filters are from popular beauty camera apps from the play store and if you swipe left we have the fun which is the uh, snapchat filters that are built into the samsung camera app so if you're used to that i will really like that and for the camera we still do not have the 60 fps mode but we can record in 4k the rest of the options are quite similar like the night mode and all the other modes you can check out from the more options like pro panorama macro and all that so while playing any media files like music or video you will notice that the progress bar animation has changed and if i just fast forward this uh, song this is how the new progress bar looks quite good and with smooth animations so this is uh, this goes both for the music and the video this is how it looks on the lock screen and you can also minimize it so the animations are pretty good and now coming to the gaming and uh, we have i have the fps meter you can download it and install it using the game plugin options I'll show you the game graphics. So I've set it to medium and max. I should get 60 FPS. So let's try to play and see how much FPS we get. So initially when I was running the game, I noticed quite lagginess. First I thought it was because of the new update or something, One UI 6, but later I just found out because it was of my Wi-Fi connection. So after connecting it to the mobile data, the performance improved and now i was getting between the 55 to 60 fps and this is what i usually get so i was happy that the game performance uh, did not degrade after the update so you can definitely play games on the new update uh, without any issues Also because of the gaming hub, we can actually use uh, different applications while we are playing game. So if I open the YouTube application, you see it opens up and it opens up directly where I left it off from these shots. So it's actually quite good that on even on the 6GB RAM variant, we can do multitask uh, like this. So this is quite good. So overall, there is no problem with the performance with the new One Y6 update and you can check out uh, there is no lag or stutter and I'm using it on the 120 hours uh, the motion so there is no 60 hours and I mentioned that if you want to use those uh, 
FPS meter and everything you can use the game plugin option from the gaming hub so now let us see how you can install it on your f23 so we need the samsung member application you can install it from the galaxy app store or it may be pre-installed on your smartphone after that you will see a beta option a banner you can just click and enroll in the program and within 30 minutes you should get the new update so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching